and made that journey. And then after that, we sat around and we listened to some of the other performers and poets and speeches. And some of the old time aimers got up there and they talked. And what impressed us was they all said, it's, it, it, as we were going home, we said, you know, almost every one of those guys said, they talked about the old days, but they talked about how many of their brothers and sisters they had lost along the way. And they all were on the red road. They had all made changes in their lives that allowed them to still be here amongst us today. And so before we left, they, they invited us, they said, can you guys sing the AIM song? And we thought, oh gosh, we haven't sung the AIM song for like 30 years. <laughs> Probably last time was with Kenny. <laughs> and so uh, we said, sure, we'll sing the AIM song. And then they said, Tom, before you guys sing the AIM song, can you explain it? The history of it. I said, well, I don't know if you want to know the history of it, because, well, anyway, they said they did. So the, the AIM song, you know, it's been around since the, it's been called the AIM song since about the early 70s. 72. And after the uh, courthouse. And the, but it was composed back in the late 60s by some Northern Cheyenne singers, a guy named Clifford Bighead. And it was, it was just a powwow song. And it was, but it wasn't just a powwow song, it was like one of the top 10. And so when AIM was just getting going and Russell and Dennis and some of those guys would sit down and they'd sing sometimes, that was one of the songs that they would sing. One of the ones that they knew. And then people would hear that and they would like that. And so after the courthouse up in, um, in, the, in the Black Hills in South Dakota, some other singers, uh, Secret Youngbeer and Jerry Cook, told Russell and those guys, you guys have been taking that song and making it popular, and so you should take that and make that your anthem. Because when people hear that song, they think of AIM, and they think of, of the reawakening, the resistance, the movement, everything that you stand for, that song reminds them. So take that and make that your anthem. So now, I asked how many people were up at Standing Rock, and there was a lot of hands here. How many in this room were at Wounded Knee 50 years ago, starting this week? There was one. Chili, what about you? No? Later. Wounded Knee 50 years ago. The people that are still with us today that were at Wounded Knee are people like Kenny Frost, who you heard from at the beginning of the program, offering those good spiritual words of advice. They're on that red road. And they take the same passion that started this movement many years ago, several generations ago, and they inform today's generation of people that are, that are carrying that tradition on, as happened at Standing Rock and as is happening in so many other ways. And so after that experience, five years ago, we said, you know, if we ever have to sing the AIM song again, we should make it a proper honoring song and put some words to it that honor the journey that some of these leaders have taken and still continue to, to take as an example. And so the the, we, we put words to this song. Um, Ronnie Tice in our group, he's kind of, a, I like to introduce him as the poet of our group because he, he has a, a, a talent with, with taking a lot of the old Lakota words. He, he sang with so many generations of porcupine singers going back to the 60s and 70s. And he takes a lot of the old time metaphors that they use in their music. And, and he brings them into some of the songs that, that we make and that we compose. And so the words to this song say, Tunkashila 
Omakiapo. It says, Grandfather, Great Spirit, help me. Ampetu lutaki le litawahe. This scarlet day is mine. Scarlet is like a metaphor for this sacred day is mine. Changnumpa wa bluha. I carry this sacred pipe. Cha dokia mawaniel. And so I walk first. Because I'm, oh, I left out one phrase. It says, Akichita le mie. I am a warrior and I carry this sacred pipe. And so I walk first. Basically, putting themselves in the danger zone, in between the people and whatever is the challenge or the threat that is out there. And so, it's the tune is the old aim song that we know. And the words is the spiritual warrior. And so, this is one of the first times we've, we've sung this in public. And um, we, we invite you all to listen to these words and, and learn this as the spiritual warrior song and to honor people like, like Mr. Frost that have been carrying the torch for a lot of these things for, for many, many years.
still with us they'd had to do a lot of, of work but a lot of the the challenges that the hard lifestyle not everybody survived that and we remember and we hear stories of those people and the ones that are here today are the ones that they, they're missing their brothers and their sisters and they're here because they, they kept that dedication they've kept that focus and they're that example for us going forward and so as we see this, a new generation embracing these struggles, we embrace it as a spiritual warrior. Thank you. Thank you.